product engineer, what they do is, let's say you design ICs and uh, it works fine. Let's say it goes to Apple. Then Apple, what they want is they, they will require 50 million units per year. And uh, you design, I mean, you produce 50 million. What if the 10 millions are bad? Then it's a huge loss. You have 20% failure. So financially, it's not a good thing to have that many failures. So we want to make sure that the cheap weight design that comes out of wafer pad has very low yield. It's called, let's say, you test 100 chips, and you want maybe one or two of them to fail. So it's like 98%. Otherwise, you'll be losing a lot of them. So product engineer's job is to make sure that the part is qualified to go into production with a certain yield, that's what we call. And test engineer is one who writes the test for production level uh, testing. System engineer is the guy who figures out an our chip, which system it did go to. So for example, Apple is using somebody else's IC. So our system engineer will look at it and they'll figure out, okay, I can take these two chips out, make it a simple one that TI has, and we can tell them, hey, you know, with a much lower price, you can use TI solution, and uh, we'll give you a good product. So that's the part of the system engineer, and to some extent, marketing engineer. And then application engineer is the one that uh, they look at it, and they try to make sure that the uh, application side, for example, at the beginning, they might have a problem. You know, um, they will have, okay, this signal is not working properly, this interface has an issue, application engineer will go over there and handheld them to, you know, figure out how to work. So just because when you graduate as an electrical engineer, the fields are not narrowed down to design engineer, whether it's analog or digital. You can be product engineer, which is much more hands-on in the sense that they work on the back end, not at the early stages. Test engineer who writes a test program, I consider it a little boring, but it's fun to the people who does that. System engineer is more customer interface, so you talk to the customer more. So one of the things, for example, you listen to people even from Bangladesh, oh, I work in Tesla, I work in Facebook, it's fun. But if you look at it, you work for TI, we design chips for Tesla, huge amount. We design for Apple, we design for um, Facebook, Amazon. So being an engineer designed and working in IC manufacturing, you get to expose